guys welcome back in this video we are going to solve some problems one important problem based on Gauss Jordan method so so in this video we are going to understand the Gauss Jordan method and what is the difference between difference guy between um, this Gauss elimination method as well as Gauss Jordan method okay so this is nothing but a modification just one modification of what Gauss elimination method ka ek modification and now how it is different from this so let us talk about first this one so first of all here we have to solve this uh, system of linear equations by Gauss Jordan method so same as that itself you have to first write the augmented matrix how to write the augmented matrix simple this you consider x1 x2 y x, y1 z1 like that x2 y2 z2 again this thing a is nothing but what a is nothing but coefficient coefficient matrix okay so a kya hota hai paas coefficient matrix hota hai. and what is b b is nothing but uh, we have constant you can write constant that is nothing but a, a column matrix okay this is nothing but a column matrix now what you have to do you have to make the coefficient matrix as earlier we used to do in Gauss elimination method we used to convert it into so how do we convert the A matrix to upper triangular matrix mein, upper triangular form mein, upper triangular form okay now in this in Gauss Jordan method what you have to do you have to convert A matrix to coefficient matrix to a diagonal matrix you have to convert so we convert karna hai, a matrix ko diagonal matrix mein convert karna hai theek hai ab diagonal matrix kya hota hai so you can just see over here diagonal matrix basically means what see suppose this is 3 cross 3 square matrix and here 1 2 3 are the diagonal elements and others will be what non diagonal elements will be what zero this is nothing but diagonal matrix diagonal matrix kya hota hai ki yahan pe jo non diagonal elements hai wo sab kya honge zeros other than diagonal elements will be non zero elements that's it okay this is nothing but diagonal matrix so you have to make the coefficient matrix into diagonal matrix for that what you have to do first do the augmented matrix first write the augmented matrix that is 2 3 minus 1 4 4 minus 3 2 minus 3 2 is to or any of kind of ratio 5 3 2 here you can see we are going with the same method as same steps as what Gauss elimination method they go same steps ke we procedure hum follow kar rahe ab kya difference aate wo hum dekhenge thi kya difference aate ab dekhi ki yaha pe kya hota hai 2 3 minus 1 okay fine so augmented matrix we have written humne likh liya augmented matrix we will apply a row transformation in order to get what this elements as zero non and diagonal elements ko main zero banana hai isliye hum kya karenge row transformation ya column main to prefer karunga row transformation se hum chalenge theek hai so first we will start from what we will make r2 and r3 we will operate on r2 as well as an r3 r3 r2 is nothing but r2 minus 2 r1 and r3 is nothing but r3 minus r1 see here you have to just uh, let me just uh, r2 r2 is nothing but r2 minus 2 r1 r2 minus 2 r1 so you will get it as this as 0 and here 2 minus 2 is 0 so we have to operate on uh, 3 with the help of 1 to so, dekhiye simple si baat hai hum matrix bana denge so we have to change second and third row in order to you have to remember one more thing that this is all this comes in the uh, transformation also uh, operations okay so that means when you apply row transformation or column transformation this will come into the picture also so you have to 2 3 minus 1 first row will remain the same first row vaise ki vaise rahega ab dekhiye 4 change okay 0 jayega 4 minus 6 minus 2 minus 1 into this thing minus of minus this thing this will become minus 1 3 minus this will become what 10 3 minus 10 is minus 7 2 minus 2 0 minus 3 min 
minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 2 2 and minus 1 2 plus 1 is 3 and here 2 minus 5 is minus 3 okay we have to just apply the same basic thing you are doing just that okay so let us see further so what we can do here we have to apply one more we have to reduce this also and even this also before that well, what we will do we have to just go for hum jayenge dekho yahan se minus sign nikal denge to r2 is r2 minus we have to just multiply with minus 1 r2 and from r3 we will take 3 outside that means 3 divided by 3 because it is a multiple or it is divisible by 3 so 1 by 3 r3 okay so after applying this 2 what we will get so we will get matrix as 2 3 minus 1 5 then here 0 2 1 this will become positive 0 this will become minus 2 this will become 1 and this will become um, 1 minus 1 correct minus 1 okay fine so we got the matrix now what we will do we have to make this as 0 and all these elements as 0 so we will work on it so what do we do here r1 is r1 plus r3 okay so before that what we can do okay fine so before this will get complicated so before that what we will do we have to change r1 so r1 is r1 2 r1 minus 3 r2 and we will we will operate on r3 so r3 is r3 plus r2 simple thing so what we will get so r1 is 2 r1 minus 3 r2 2 r1 minus 3 r2 so this won't change so it will remain 3 r2 so so this will become what 2 r r1 is there so this will become 4 and this will become 0 minus 1 and this one becomes minus 5 okay fine so here 5 okay here it will be minus 11 okay and second row it will remain as it is 0 2 1 and 7 and the third row will change r3 plus r2 0 plus 0 is 0 minus 2 plus this thing is 0 1 plus 1 is 2 okay so here it will be minus 1 oh, no 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 minus 1 oh here also we have to do minus 1 plus minus 1 plus uh, 7 it is 6 plus 6 okay here it is plus 6 now we have to go for the another transformation in order to make this 2 also 0 okay so for that what we will do we will just go for another row transformation so I have to do operation on this two r2 is see I have to make this one as what is, uh, zero so r2 is r2 minus what I can do so before that doing on 2 I saw that this this 2 and 6 these are multiples right so I can reduce it into so I what I'll do r3 I'll go for r3 and divide it with what 2 so when you get this type of questions what do you do observe this that any multiples are available or not okay then you proceed so what I'll do 4 0 minus 5 here 0 2 1 and minus 11 is here 7 and here 0 0 1 and here 3 okay division by divided by 2 now and here this 2 I have to make a 0 so I'll go for what R, R1 is what R1 so I'll just write it over here R1 is R I can go for R1 plus 5 R3 correct because 5 R3 means here 1 is there so it will be 0 fine and this one I can easily uh, write it as R2 is R2 minus R3 okay R2 is R2 minus R3 simple things and the final step I can write the matrix as what this R1 will change it to what 4 plus 5 so it will remain same because here 0 is there and here 0 will remain as 0 minus 1 will become 0 and here 
minus 11 plus 15 it is plus 4 and second row will 0 minus 0 minus 0 is 0 2 minus 0 oh it is 2 and here 1 minus 1 0 and 7 minus 3 it is 4 0 0 0 okay 0 0 1 and here 3 will be there and this will be my final matrix now what you have to do here because i have got the non-diagonal elements as what zeros here also non-diagonal elements are zeros now here i have got the diagonal matrix now i have to just write the uh, that equations correct so i can just write 4x is equal to 4 here 2y is equal to 4 and here from here z is equal to 3 simple from here i'll get x is equal to 4 by 4 which is equal to 1 and y is equal to 4 by 2 correct 4 by 2 which is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3 this is my final answers so basically what you have to concentrate on is that we have done the same thing as Gauss elimination method but the difference is we have to make the diagonal matrix here no complication based on the equations because here this is based on x y z that's it okay here no case of uh, you can consider x1 also that's fine anyways you have to write x only so it's fine so we have got the solution of what the system of equation by the method goes jordan method